I'm not trying to get famous or anything. Trust me. This is what I don't. I, um, I try as much as possible to stay. If you can hear me talk, you know uh, this is something I have to do, not something I want to do. <laughs> so, um, but uh, things that are going on now in the nation and the world at large have pushed me to want to make this video and talk to you today. So, what is the key to what's happening? I'll take you back seven years ago. Seven years ago, around May, for no reason, Hamas started firing into Israel. Rockets everywhere, shooting into Israel. That same period, a lot of anti ebotic attacks started. You notice seven years ago was when the first talk started again, or should I say the first public Instigation started about the Biafra, which of course died down a few years, uh, a few months later, only to be awakened after Buhari came into. And I'm going to make a statement right now. Uh, you see, right now in the nation, people, if, if you say the truth, they come, they send DSS for you. You know, DSS come and catch you. <laughs> but right now in the nation, you just can't tell the truth, or else you could get into trouble, but I don't care. Like I keep saying, I'm already dead. This life that I have, that what I am here is to know Jesus and to make him known. I don't care about anything else. I mean, every time you try to delete move of God, you're waking something much more dangerous. And you know, these things happened and I'm like, please stay away. Allow these young people, a lot of people, were, you know, I'm not trying to be popular. I'm not trying to be, if anything, I like to walk from the shadows. I'm only coming out right now to talk because this has gone too far. The problem is that you think you're buying time, you're not, the enemy is. And stop all this hatred on the Igbo people. You're just going to get yourself into more trouble. I'm serious. Whether you like it or not, whether you admit it or not, the Igbo people have a glorious destiny in this nation. Somebody said they hate them because they are proud. Seriously, what is your problem? Are they supposed to be what? Down and low? No, come on. You will meet people who are down, Igbos who are down to earth. And I've also seen people from other tribes who are proud. Pride is not a crime. And pride is not in, against the Nigerian constitution. The government is trying to get you. And actually, they, that's why if you watch, they are shouting all the time. Fulanis have been killing people. Where did you see that on the news? Nobody told you that on the news. Nobody spoke about the Fulanis on the news. No. If they did, they downplayed it. Or non government when they knew they were Fulanis. They played down, played all the stuff. Why? Because they knew what was going on. But the moment the Igbo started talking about Biafra and all the stuff, I'm sorry, can I ask a question? You say, um, Fulani headsmen are like spare parts dealers, Igbo spare parts dealer. Can I ask a question? When did Igbos ever attack any settlement? If anything, they brought life to every settlement. Remind me again what business the Fulani brought to Nigeria? Yeah, none. Except the business of life taken. This is a country where um, f um, blood is um, the blood of cows is more precious than the blood of human beings. But again, again, I must bring in a balance here. Don't just ask God to intervene in your city. Go back and study again, 2 Chronicles 7, 14. It says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and purpose to seek, their, purpose to seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. It means wickedness always precedes violence. Whenever a people, are you listening to me? Violence will always invade, um, invade a city when there is impiety among the people first which means there's violence in our streets because there's no reverence for god in our hearts are you listening to me tonight there's violence in our street because there's no reverence for god in our hearts this is what is happening and i wish you guys would really come to understand this truth 
I wish you would come to understand this. If you must cry out, you must first cry out in repentance and ask Him to heal your land. I wish you guys would understand. There's a reason why they're doing these systematic killings and rapings. It has to be because they're trying to awaken something else. It's a, it's a supernatural ritual. It's not just happening. And that's why they start by spreading fear. All these police reports and others, many of them are fear reports. By then they do that, you're becoming so scared. And the church is helping to propagate this fear. What is your problem? I belong to several so-called Christian groups. And all they do is just spread fear. Tell you all the evil things that are happening. All the wrong things that are happening. And then you see posts about, you know, what God is going to give us. What God is going to do for us. You know, um, yeah, today God is going to bless you and all that. We, that's escapism Christianity. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. And I believe if the enemy wants to fight. If the enemy wants to bring it, it's because God wants a bigger victory over the enemy. God can always take care of his own. Why are you always thinking like he abandoned you and yourself? If you have to feel fear, then you're undermining who you worship. If your life is filled with fear, then you undermine whom you serve. God is not a weakling. It's just that his people who claim to represent him sometimes are very unwise and reading by the words of the enemy. My sheep know my voice, and God's voice is not the voice of fear. So if you're listening to, his, to fear, you might want to check again what you really believe in and who you really believe in. I have a book coming out very soon. It's called The Full Gospel. There I begin to discuss again, what is the gospel? What is truly the gospel? I, hear, I see a lot of people say they're believers, but what do you believe in? They, don't even, they can't even tell you. It's so sad. Fear is not of God. If you feel fear easily, there is something wrong with the love level in your life. I'm going to come again with that. If you feel fear easily, then something is wrong with the love level in your life. The world is collapsing. But we are meant to be light in the darkness. How can we be light when we embrace the darkness of the enemy as a way? God deflected rockets in Israel. I know that from experience. You think he cannot crush Bukhar Rami one night? But the problem is that nobody is sitting down to ask God, what are the tactics for this season? Nobody is asking him what are the tactics for this season. Everybody just dare train prayers all around. Here is my advice to you believers out there who trust in God, church leaders, church members, church workers. Stop praying. Stop praying for Nigeria. Turn your faces to the east and bless Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Send offerings, raise an offering if you want, you can Contact us if you want to give with us, if you want to give through us. But I'm not putting, if you're a pastor, if you guys can get it there, I don't have a problem with that. I don't want anybody's, I'm not touching anybody's money. I don't want that. So you will not say tomorrow we give money and he ate it. No. I'm seriously going to break your head if you try that nonsense with me. Give Israel. Bless Israel. Number three, when you have prayed for Israel, if possible, send delegates there. When you have finished praying for Israel, watch what God will do. But we don't have time. We're already running low on gas, if you understand what I mean. The plan is coming up. Stop hating the evils. Pray for them. It's not just intercession. And stop listening to fear. Stop listening to all those things. Look, if your group, if you're in a WhatsApp group that always talks about fear, please get that from there. Leave that group. That group is not spiritual. It's not at all. 
I'm so mad. I get so mad and angry when, you know, when I see people whom God has given great gift, prophetic gift, gifts to move things in the spiritual, and then they're responding to fear and opinions of men. You have a problem. You have a problem. Some of the things I would not want to say here in public. Like this video now. But you need to wake up. The Shemitah is here again. Seven years ago, Hamas attacked Israel. Boko Haram started trying to invade in Brno. Seven years later, same period, Hamas attacks Israel again. Boko Haram tries to invade Niger State to seize the state. These things are happening. This is a Shemitah year. In this year, kidneys will change hands. If you guys fail this year, it's going to take you a lot of time to replace it. Be wise. Live before you die. He that has ears, let him hear.